Hello everybody, the video from Sonic and all Stars Racing Transformed, the PC version. Today's video, it's going to be a tutorial. Now if you watched my past video on what we're going to talk about today, and you saw the bottom of that video's description, then you'll have an idea as to what this is. Okay, so let's get started. So, hold on, let me pause for a second. Okay, so going into the browser here, if it wants to do anything, pull up. You don't care about that stuff. Okay. So you want to, you want, you see, um, this. The AI account changer. You want to do, you want to click manual download. So this will be in the description, or you can just search um, Sonic and also Racing Transform, no AI, you should be able to find it that way as well. Then you click download. However, I already have this mod, or have this thing, so that's self-explanatory. Then once you download this, well, that, open up the EXE and you should see this. Now, as you can see, my current value is 1 that I have set. And set number of players, including AI. This is where I got confused. I thought it was like, you know, 0 would be like, you know, 0 AI. But it's actually including the AI here in the count. So 0 would just soft lock you if you start a race, which that's how I got confused. But if we set the value to one, if you want the if you want no AI, you have one now, which one means just you and not the AI. If we set the value to two, it will give you you and an AI, so you can do a one v one race if you wanted. And so I'm just gonna set this. I already have it set that way, so it's fine. If you want to restore the default, it will restore back to what it was originally. This actually loads a value from your files in uh, for the game. And it changes the value of how much AI you have in a race um, with that file. How, however, it doesn't apply to certain modes like Grand Prix. It just keeps the AI count normal. Because otherwise it would technically be a cheated score, because it technically has a scoreboard as well, so that's another reason. Modes where you already don't have an AI to begin with, like World Tour for instance, that doesn't count. This also works with boost races, so keep that in mind. Battle races won't work, because it's already meant to have AI in the first place. And also, all races, including boost races, in World Tour will work for this mod, so just as a heads up. Now, I'm going to pause and get back to the, and start loading up the game, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now, with Steam loaded, I forgot to mention this, and I should have mentioned it earlier in the tutorial, but when you load the uh, AI changer, or the, you know, the AI count editor, the game cannot be loaded at the time, It'll show up a prompt, that means that you have to have the game not loaded, meaning this play button still has to be, you know, green. Yeah, so that's another thing I forgot to mention, so... Whoops! <laughs> well, let's load the game, and let's see what happens. With this. And just load the game. <laughs> Okay, on, but okay. Yeah, let me load that, load, turn down the volume a bit. Because it's, it's morning right now, and <laughs> I don't want to be too loud. I think that's fine. Hopefully you guys can hear the sound as well. So now you're going to go to single race, if you want to test this. But I'll show you ahead of time, so that when you guys load the mod, you don't have to worry about this. 
Now, like I said, certain modes won't allow this to work. Other modes like Grand 3 will just not be affected, so that's a heads up. Let's do one of my favorite courses. Let me do this with I. I. Now, if you saw that video, you'll know what this is all about. Or the other video, my latest video besides this one, which will be uploaded after I record this, so beautiful. But yeah, certain things. Yeah. So, actually, with this, yeah, if you're doing normal races, it only gives you the first place items, so as a heads up, just as a, I guess a caution, you're only going to get the first place items from normal item boxes. The super pickups are exactly the same, so that's another thing. That's why when you saw, if you saw that video on Outrun Bay, you saw it take advantage of the super pickup in the beginning of the boat section. That way I was able to get the boost from that normal super pickup. And yeah. So yeah, as you see here, I just picked up an ice super pickup. And it's normal, so. I guess I'll just show, like, the entire race here. If I have enough time, so we'll see. I'll just fire the ice. Okay. Oh, I messed that up. I thought I was gonna, you know, land on the the ramp. That's fine. I should have saved that glove actually. Gloves are pretty handy. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, I thought I landed perfectly, but it's fine. Yeah, Temple Trouble is one of my favorite courses. But yeah, there's certain reasons why I actually like Temple Trouble, and I think it's fun. Especially because I'm an I.I. Mimi main, that's another reason, but... You know, even though I haven't played Super, Super Monkey Ball or any of the games of that series, the characters are very entertaining. I am Mimi here, very entertaining. Their all stars aren't bad. I just honestly think Mimi's is better. I guess because of the accuracy of it, but Ooh, nice great combo there. And you're automatically gonna get first place because you're the only one in no AI races. And yeah. <laughs> That's the result screen. <laughs> it's just you. So if you feel lonely, just Turn the volume, or uh, turn the count up to two, and you'll get an AI. This is <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So that's how no AI works, or no AI mod works, and how you activate it, and how you can use it. Now, I'm not, I'm not. So there's certain inter, yeah. So it's a count of zero to ten. However, zero of course softbox the game when you load a race. One is by yourself. Two is with an AI, and so on and so forth, until 10, with a value of 10. Now, the value of 10 is you and the 9 AI. 
because it's including the AI, so it's you and the AI, so that's what I forgot about earlier, so...